How's it going guys? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla episode 27 with me CXC. In this episode we're going to be jumping in and continuing from the exact same position that we left off in the last episode. So yeah, the last one was pretty cutscene heavy, we didn't really get much done. Um, in the case of action, like there weren't much fighting or anything, it was just mostly dialogue. But yeah, we didn't even have any choices to make, we were literally just listening to what other people had to say to us. But I guess that's how... We're going to learn the story and stuff and the background. So we've got to meet with Uba or Uba. And we've just got to speak to him. So we're going to see what he has to say. And then we're going to jump into the episode. I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of war. You don't need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. Okay, so yeah, we just listened to Uba and spoke with Sigurd as well. At least that's now out of the way. We're doing a mission called Sons of Ragnar, which we started in the last episode. We've got to travel to Tamworth, I think. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chelber? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. So yeah, we've got to travel to Tamworth, um, which I think is in the UK. I'm pretty sure that that's... I know that it, there's a UK place called that, but I think we're in England now. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So we've got a long way to travel, but I'm going to keep some of it on camera just because there's a lot of skipping out and stuff. I don't really keep this stuff in the episodes very often. So yeah, just um, put a slightly longer episode out just for a change. But it's not on purpose, like it's more just so it stays entertaining, but I'm going to try it, see what works out better. You just let me know what's more enjoyable to watch. Plus I guess it gives a good sense of the map as well, and the scale and stuff of the game. Because th this game is huge. Like I've estimated how long this series is going to be, and it's probably going to be running into around about 150 episodes. So yeah, there's quite a long way to go. Obviously we're still pretty early on in the game. But, yeah, I really hope you're enjoying either way. There's three series currently run running three series currently running on the channel. We've got Assassin's Creed Valhalla Destiny 2, which is the longest running series on the channel. And we've also got a brand new series that's just started, Detroit Become Human. So, yeah, if any of those sound interesting, make sure to check them out. But like I say, just, just subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach 1k subs now. We're pretty close to reaching 600. I think we're on 572. As I'm recording it, so we've gone from 500 to more or less 600 really quick. Pretty much under a month, we've gained those like 70 subscribers, which it's a big jump, like in growth when it comes to the size of my channel. So yeah, just thank you for anyone that, that's checking out the new episodes and stuff. Obviously, it goes a long way. But yeah, we're travelling to Tamworth. I'm just rambling on a little bit at the moment. This place is heavily guarded. So, are we pretty close? 
These look like armed men. I'm not sure what they're doing here, but... Oh, we're here. This is Tamworth. Okay. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofric? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. <laughs> I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. The Rachnasans are the least of your worries, Burgred. The Raven Clan now sits upon your southern border. And who might you be? Eivor, here with Sigurd Jarl. We're friends to these men and foes to you. Well, you've chosen your friends poorly. Now that's to be expected of a low-born Dane. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Are you Eivor and I will round up the men. Do you know your way around a battering ram? I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. Strong and agile. I'll be there. Okay, so we've got to go and talk to the captain. It looks like we're about to be infiltrating this camp. Or kingdom, I guess it is. I think it's a kingdom. So this is our war camp. And yeah, it looks like we're going to be... And yeah, it sounds like we're going to be using a battering ram. I think it's the first or second time that we've actually used one of these. Maybe the first time. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong? I know these men, Abel. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Okay, so these look like fire barrels. I think we're just about getting all of our equipment ready for the raid. And I guess I'm meditating. Maybe praying. I don't know. But yeah, praying to the gods, I'm guessing. Just for a little bit of extra luck. To 
destroy the gate! Let's the go! Soldiers. Need the me. before me! And boom, so we're in charge of the battering ram. This is actually the first time that I've used one of these. I have seen them in action before, but I haven't actually been in control of one. So we've got to go all the way back and then use the mouse to charge forward. So it seems like we're doing a pretty good job of it so far. I can tell that we're doing damage to the gate. And we've probably got a lot of enemies inside here once we make our way in. Yeah, a couple more hits. I reckon maybe two more hits would do it. We've got to move back out of the way because they're all going to get killed. And boom, so we're in. And now we've just got to keep pushing forward. So we've got multiple gates that we've got to take out. So I'm not sure if it's the best course of action to take out the enemies and then take out the second gate. But just to keep pushing forward with the battering ram. Just keep concentrating on the gates. I think we're going to do that. I think we're just going to keep charging at the gates. At least until we're all the way up where we need to go. And then we can just turn back around on ourselves and make our way back down through the kingdom, taking out the enemies. I'm not sure if it's going to work out the way that I'm planning it to, but we can only see and hope for the best. Okay, so we've got to destroy the palisade. Surely this is the last gate that we've got to get through until we can get to the king, but then again I expect him to be slightly more guarded than that. We might not even make our way to the king, he might have done a runner, but we might not actually get to him in time. Take this gate down. And boom, that's another one out the way. Okay, so I've just walked into a lot of shots and lost and lost a large portion of the team that were helping me use the battering ram. Okay, so we can actually brace for shots using our shield. Don't know if it's going to do much though. Obviously, we're getting hit from all sides, so even if we brace from above, we're still going to be getting hit from below and behind and from the left and from the right. I'm not sure how far we have to take this back to actually get some damage done to the door. Okay, so that's that gate taken care of. I can't see any more gates. Take this guy down. Like so. I don't even know where he was swinging. He was nowhere near us. Should we just hide out until the end of the fight? It'd be alright if we could get away with it. Okay, so we're going to keep making our way up through here. I know that it seems like I'm not focusing on the enemies, but that's what the team's for, in my opinion. Like, I'm going to go after the main guy. It'll be me that's got to take him out anyway, so might as well do it. So, defeat the king's elites. So we've got two elites that we've got to take out. How elite they are, we'll see. You know, my game, I don't even know if it's broken, but I don't seem to be taking much damage lately. Like, I am pretty hot on the button to um, use the potions and stuff, but... Either the enemies are really bad at accuracy... That was a good shot. Either the enemies have got really bad accuracy or yeah, something's going wrong. But I think we've taken down this place. Now we can just reap the rewards from the assault that we've completed. So now we own Tamworth Fortress. It's part of our kingdom. Or at least they're on our side now. It's over, Burgred. Lay down your weapons, Sansa.
Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Jailbad was around. Maybe you missed him. Your hmm. A chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We are wasting time. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tana's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. But keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. That's actually going to do it for me guys, thank you for watching, make sure to join me in 6 days time for episode 28, if you don't want to wait till then there's a new video not tomorrow but the next day, which will be Destiny episode 107, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on all of the uploads that are going to be dropping, but yeah thank you for watching, I'll catch you in the next episode.